we're going to move on and we're going to do our spine. I think I'll have it facing, I think I'll do it facing in. Let's do it the right way it is. That way. And um, I want to get this in here as well. That's our spine. And I want you to leave a nut, just a little bit. Do you see how much that is? I'll tell you how much approximately that is. Because your, your book won't close if you do it tight. Okay? you got to leave this open. Just a little bit. Actually, it should be the thickness. And I don't know if you keep your a piece a piece of your what you've cut off of this spine it should be at least the thickness of that okay but we're going to just eyeball this okay and uh, I'm going to use I'm using packing tape okay Everybody seems, everybody has access to packing tape. That wasn't on my list of supplies. Sorry, guys. But that is kind of what I'm using. So at this point, I'm not even worried about getting it exact uh, in length. I just want to get it in place. And that's pretty far. So that's why I like doing the front cover because it's it's slick and you can pull it off if you need to, okay? That's about cool. Oh. You only need enough that this will open and close. Okay? So see? See how that makes it really nice? It opens and closes. So I want to put tape all the way up to the top. I'm just going to add another piece here right to the top. This will be my inside. So it doesn't matter that this will have... Um, see, this won't have... I'm leaving the bare box on the inside. To the for the outside because it will accept gesso. Um, these don't really like because they're shiny and it's a shiny surface. They don't like um, gesso or you know it's harder. You almost have to sand it a little bit. And if you make a mistake and it's okay, if you make a mistake and this ends up to be your outside. Just sand this down a little bit with fine sandpaper, okay? But this is how we're basically doing it. So, I'm hoping that, you know, I'm, I'm pretty square. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's, it's pretty darn good. So, if we take our book now, and we put that in the middle, and not worry about the spine, but let's you line this up. We're going to we're going to glue the front and the back. Okay? But before we do that, I don't want to see this red. I don't want to see this red. Um <clears throat> so what I actually really want to do with this now is um for the inside we're going to get some gesso and like I say, Gesso doesn't like this stuff so much. Or you can just paint right over it. But I have to say, it might scratch off. So that's why I say maybe to give it a, a, a little bit of a sand. I happen to have a, a Tim Holtz sander, but you don't need that. Just any block sander from your hardware store would work. I'm just, I'm just roughing it up. Not so much on the plastic, okay? Because the plastic is here. 
I just want to make sure that my that's probably good enough and I need a paper towel just to wipe off the dust. Okay. Let me just clean up my desk here a little bit. There's just too much stuff and I can't work like that. Those, put this back. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to pick up my ribbons that I've got left. The little bits, it doesn't matter, I'm throwing them, I'm throwing them back in my ribbon box. I hand dyed those years ago. Oh my gosh. But getting back to our book. I'm going to get my my glue brush. No, I'm getting my gesso brush before the glue. Where are you? Here you are. This is my favorite, my favorite gesso brush. So I'm gonna, let's do some gesso here. If it wants to, it's not going to want to come out. Alrighty. I'm opening the lid. Weird. I'm going to have to clean that lid, I guess. And maybe make sure you don't have any dry bits. Oops. That's probably way more than we need. But that's all right. I'm going right over the plastic. Okay. I'm going over everything. I'm going to zoom out so you can see what I'm doing here. Try and stay in frame for you. So I'm putting on, seems like a lot of gesso, but you know, for, I just want to make sure that we get really good coverage. And you're going to do the same to the other side. You can do it now before it's glued together or you can do it after it matters not whatever this is not um a perfection thing this is um <laughs> deb's way of doing an easy journal i have done very classy journals so i you know i love to make watercolor journals, you know, um, that's my favorite kind of journal, is a watercolor journal. Now because we're working on a slick surface, I would suggest, you know, keeping your, your brush strokes going in one direction, okay? One direction. And if you find something, some is dried, just get a little bit more. Get a little bit more. And just keep going in the one direction, okay? Because we're going to have to do this two times. So then when we come back and do it the second time, we're going to go in the other direction, okay? So at this point, you need to dry it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be right back. Okay, whoops, I'm back. So now we're going to add more gesso. And because I, because I was going up and down, this time I'm going to go this way. Okay. And you might, you might have to go both ways, but your last stroke should be the other way, okay? That just gives it a really good tooth. If you don't feel like doing it two times, don't. 
it, I mean, this is your journal. It's not... It's not necessary, I guess, is what I'm saying, to have two coats on here because we're gluing the front and back covers on here anyway. Um, but I just, especially, these edges are giving me a problem, and I bet they weren't dry enough. Just want to put some down here. I bet you these weren't dry enough when I came back, and that's why it's doing that. But that's okay. We overcome. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, really. Mixed media is so forgiving. You can fix pretty much anything. Am I in frame? I hope I am. Okay. Anyways, um, I just want us to have fun through this process. And I know that there's a, a number of you following me doing this too. I'm so happy about that. Um, it's just something, uh, I keep going over that same spot, but that, that's not going to show because our book, our signatures are going to cover that and I'm happy. Now, I'm making this journal this way because it's easy and also because I don't like stuff hanging on the outside of my journals. Maybe you do, and that's okay if you do. Everybody likes different stuff. And, you know, like what I like, somebody else might hate. So, you know, that, that's how it is. But, you know, I'm just sort of, I'm dabbing. <laughs> I'm trying to make that stay. It's on the plastic. So that's going to give me a hassle. So I'm not... I'm going to dry this again right now, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and it's dry. Um, so now we're ready to put our to put our book in. So what I'm going to do? Get my blue glue brush. dry it out. I always keep my glue brush in water. That way it never gets hard. I never I never wash it. It just sits in water all the time. Now I got Mod Podge out and that's what we're going to add. First we're going to add Mod Podge I want to make sure I'm out far enough so that you can see. Uh, got the Mod Podge out and I'm doing it down, basically down the middle. Okay, that's probably plenty. And, you know, probably best to come out a little bit. Well, I'm going to let that sit up and while set up and while I'm doing that I'm going to add some on both sides because we're going to glue our pages our front cover and our back cover to the inside of this book cover. But I wanted to make sure I had lots down the middle because it has to, I want it to make sure that it grabs um, or glues your threads and everything in. I gotta add a little bit more. Oops, now I've got way too much. Hang on a second. <laughs> That's what happens when you pour from a, an open, an open bottle. Okay, got the sides, we've got everything. Now, the big test, once you've got all this, all this on, is to take your book and roughly center it in the spine. Okay, 
And once you think that you're pretty much centered, you can open up your book and drop your page. And that's, don't, don't let it slip out on you. It wants to, your, your covers, because they're slippery too, will want to take off on you. Don't let it do that. You want to keep that in the spine. Okay. And I'm going to take an old card. It can be an old credit card that you no longer need or anything. And I'm just going to get the excess out. was afraid of. Our book is smaller, is smaller than the spine. Dang it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of, I'm going to kind of pull it, pull the book so that this back cover kind of goes where the fold is. I'm going to check the top here now. Yeah, that's about right. So I'm pulling, actually pulling it apart. Um, this one here because I've now stuck it down so good. Oh yeah, it's still, it's still workable. So <clears throat> I'm going to pull this one as well. As far out I could have made that spine a little smaller and it would have been a little bit better. But that's okay. We're going to make this work. Right. I just want to see if it'll open and close at this point. This one could still be pulled out a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is just make sure this is down. I might have to add a little more Mod Podge in here now. I gave it a little bit too much room to grow. <laughs> but that's okay. It might be wise for you to stitch your your journal together and then measure actu the actual uh, how how deep it is. I like kind of how that's working out because it spreads out. Um, just let me get a, I need a, a piece of something under me because that's, I'm sticking to it all. No, I think that that's, that's going to work out great. Uh, <clears throat> It didn't, it did not glue the, um, the spine right in of, of the signatures, but if you're concerned about that, I see that this is still not exactly, 
but we're making a journal that we can we can use to play in. So that lays flat. I like that. It lays flat this way. I like that. And I think you will too. Rather than it poking up all the time. So let's try a different page. Let's go to here. Yeah, see? It lays flat and I love that. So it's all good. It's all good. Even though like it's not it's not if you notice when I open this you can see it's not right here it's not glued into the spine but that's okay because it's all stitched and it isn't going anywhere but you know if that bothers you take some more of your thread and just come in here and and tie it you know before before you um, start doing going any further with this because you could cover you can cover your outside with paper um, we can gesso it we can paint it um, yeah so I you know it's kind of a bit of a fail for me as you know me trying to teach you something I thought this was going to really be right on but I should have probably been uh, exact in my measurement for um, this piece here the binding because I gave it a little extra and maybe I shouldn't have but you know it's still good and I like I like how everything's sitting. I like that it's flat. And I think that's it for today. Um, our next the next time we get together, I think what we're going to do is um, do something with the cover. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, but I'm happy with this, and we're going to have fun. That's all I can say. It's going to be an adventure for me and you. As you see, my binding isn't perfect either. And... Sometimes that's just how the ball rolls, you know, and sometimes we make great art and sometimes it's ugly. So sometimes it doesn't turn out and it's all good. It's all trial and error. It's, um, I tried something new with the, a binding tonight. Um, it's, I've never done this one before, but I do like, I love how it lays flat. Uh, so, you know, is it a fail? Mm, not really. I don't think it is. And I think, you know, once we've uh, added more gesso and more structure, like something, um, maybe we should add, add paper to the outside of this before we carry on, because that would certainly strengthen up this spine. Because right now, it's the only thing holding it is the, is the, um, um, the tape where we taped it together and on the inside. So the outside I think is fairly fairly fragile still. You see that? So I think it doesn't matter. It can be um, white cardstock. It could be black cardstock. It could be oh you can use scrapbook paper. We can gesso over that and paint it. Or you can just leave it. it, it it's all totally up to you. So that's it for today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.